idea of the step-by-step uh, -step Betty Crocker cookbook style of science is, uh, I think, a 20th century invention. Right, so that, you mean that um, naturally observed phenomena and then... Yeah, those steps that QE lays out and says you got to do all these things, and the fact is, no, you don't. Would he? Would Cavendish have had to do that then, or was it different back then? Cavendish didn't have to do anything. He's making a measurement of the gravitational constant. He wasn't out to try to prove gravity exists. Goddamn, everybody already knew that. But wouldn't have his observed uh, phenomenon have had something to do with gravity? Or something. Oh, you just need the gravitational constant, that's all. All he was trying to do is, is effectively measure the density of the Earth, but but uh, if you really want to look at it in, in depth, what he actually did was determine the, the gravitational constant. Wow. Get that directly okay, from like his measurements. He got something out of it that he wasn't exactly expecting. Oh, he expected to get the gravitational constant. That's what he got. Expected to get the density of the Earth. Let me, let me be very accurate about this. He expected to get the density of the Earth, and that's what he got. I got your numbers right here. It's just as easy as one, two, three. You have to open your mind. Imagination is all you need Don't take advice from fools Cause everything that they say is in vain Never take advice from fools We all know what they do is in vain Yeah, LIGO is the perfect, most straight, the straightest line in the world, yeah? And that's and it's in a laser in a tube, but it's built into concrete, and that concrete does go with the curve of the Earth. It is curved below the tube. Everything is relative to you. You just have to say it in generalities, just like those straight lines are curving. Drive down the road, don't you ever swerve And I don't know Where all of this goes Never seek advice from fools Everything that they say is in vain Never seek advice from fools Everything hey, that they do, they're always in down, yeah, about down. And perpendicular to that, vertical mm -hmm. is horizontal, right? That's correct. So level is horizontal. Larry nice. proved that. Larry, Larry GPS proved that not all flows are, are parallel. Right. Not all flows are parallel. Yeah, really sure. Well, that's what they say. Yeah, you got your playbook, it's all right. Your model dictates what you will find. And I don't know. Personally, blame him for this mess. Where all of this goes. Don't take advice from fools. Uh, you're not even bent on my channel as well. Like, the same for Randy. You're not the type of guy to get triggered at. Well, sometimes I can be triggered. Let's be honest. I'm not gonna lie about it.
Now that is scientific fact. There's no real evidence for it, but it is scientific fact. Yeah, so I'd say we you, had a good guys, conversation what, today. What is it you think what? level is? I wish I didn't lose my cool, but I think it's the gravity vector. Level is perpendicular to the gravity vector. People in here as well, okay. And that would be uh, doing what? Yeah. Yeah. direction we call down. Yeah, hey, Blue, your, your, so your server is popping because of the boys. Vertical is horizontal, right? That's correct. I hope Blue recorded it and maybe makes a video with it. That would be cool. Of course he did. He's going to make a clown video of me, you, Bev. You know how it goes. I just hope he doesn't lie, though. Uh, I just, Especially yeah, I about say, I hope active... Go ahead, sorry. Totally... I, I was just going to say, I hope we're not totally misrepresented. Like, you know. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. Claiming, are you claiming that I've misrepresented anything? No, no, no. I'm saying I hope that if you do make a video with the recording from our conversation today, that I'm hoping that you don't misrepresent us. I'm not saying that you will or, or won't. I'm just stating to, to uh, my desire. To the best of my knowledge and ability, I have never misrepresented anything. I'm not making Anybody a claim said. that you have or haven't. But your input is more than welcome. Let's do something about Cavendish. What point were you trying to make? Who, what? Me or just in general? Bell. Oh. Well, I thought we were just into learning. I could have read it out verbatim, but I thought I'd leave it. I'd just post it in there so you could have a look at it. Well, it's really new information. It's not. It's uh, not new for you. Or is it new for you? Are, we, are you saying it? No, it's not. It's not new. No. Yeah. I don't suppose it'd be new for many people, but hey, you never know. There might be a couple of people that have never heard of it. Yeah, there's actually been a uh, an academic argument about this that got that's gone on for years, uh, well, since the uh, 1880s, I guess, when uh, uh, Charles Boyce, uh, he's the one that's generally credited for adding the term "g" to the Newtonian expression. Since he did that, and then then the purists in the in the crowd said, "Well, wait a minute, Cavendish." Uh, Either the diameter of the Earth, he stated that. He obviously would have known what the acceleration of gravity on the Earth is. And he measured the density of the Earth, therefore he knows what the mass is. If you have just those pieces of information, that's all you need. And you can easily come up with what G is. Really simple. Very simple little math. So some people say, well, although he didn't come right out and state it, Cavendish actually did measure G, which is true. It's not true, at all. Well, it actually is is true in the in the sense that all the information was there. Uh, what is what is also true is he didn't write down the number. Okay. He just didn't do the maths. It wasn't, his, it wasn't what he was looking for anyway. He was looking for the density of the earth. Yeah, yeah, because we were going over that the other day when we were watching that uh, Pete and Pete video. Very good. They did. I think they've done a couple of them, haven't they? And they were saying that in there he uh, related it to uh, water. Well, of course. Yeah, because water is is the one, right? Isn't it? We relate pretty much everything to water. Yeah, everything's relative to the water, and then when you can work out Except the density, the is. you work out it whether it's know. it's like more or less than one, right? And man, Bruce Lee. That's what specific gravity is. 
So was it more or less than one? I, I presume it'd be more, right? It's five point four. Five wow. actually uh Kevin just came up with five point four five. It was off by about one percent is all. But all of that is acting towards itself, so it sort of cancels itself out, right? At the center. Cancels itself out at the center, yeah, pretty much. At the center. So is that, because that always got me, because I always think of everything relative. Um, when uh, you at your equilibrium of density, then you don't actually weigh anything, do you? So that would like make sense at the at the center of it when you've got um, that density pushing in from all sides, be sort of like weightless in the center. Be more like pulling out from all sides. Pulling out. Yeah, it seems a bit contrary to itself, that. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, actually. So you'd sort of get... Once you reach your equilibrium, then you become... As though you don't wait because you're in, the, in your equilibrium. So is the, uh, does it get more as you get higher and less as you get lower? What are you talking about? I don't know, you, that G. As you weigh nothing in the centre. E is G, no matter what. It's a constant. He is a physical constant. Even if you were to do it at the center. No matter where you do it at. The universal gravitational constant is a constant. It's a physical constant. It's required. It's necessary. If you don't have that, you've got mass squared divided by distance squared. And m squared over r squared is not force. Isn't it like the uneven or distribution need, of mass, though, or something like that? Is that, not, a, uh, is that a different G? You got to have a physical constant that has the dimensions of Newton meter squared per, ki per uh, kilogram squared, which is distance squared over mass squared. And that cancels mass squared over distance squared, so you just end up with Newtons. That's why the value of G is... So it cancels itself out. 10 to the minus 11th Newton meter squared per kilogram. Squared. Do you say mathematically cancels itself out? Huh? Yeah, you have to have a constant that cancels meter squared over, uh, uh, I'm sorry, kilogram squared over meter squared, which is what Newton's expression without G will give you. And kilogram squared per meter squared is not a force. Really nothing. So you got to have a physical it's constant that takes care of the volume, the, uh, right? Gotta tell you you got to have a physical density. constant that, that gets the dimensions back correct. It's nice that it cancels itself out. You can sort of forget about it, really, then, can't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. To forget about it. <clears throat> like a magic trick. It's there, but it's not there. Forget about it, don't worry.
No, Mike, I'm not confused. You're using the wrong G. I have the other G. I clearly said that uh, Big G was not part of the Newtonian expression. It didn't come until, uh, until about 100 years after Cavendish. I think it said 75, is it? How always got me for Cavendish? What was his uh, naturally observed phenomena that he started off with? What do you think that was? Always confused me. Why do you think he needed one? Isn't that part of the... Uh, I'm just going off what QE says. Isn't that the scientific method that we start off with? A, yeah, I know. Or have we, have we changed that? Because I would have thought back then it would have been part of it, would it? Or had, had science not been invented back then? Uh, this idea of the step-by-step uh, -step Betty Crocker cookbook style of science is, uh, I think, a 20th century invention. Right, so that you mean that um, naturally observed phenomena and then... Yeah, those steps that QE lays out and says you got to do all these things, and the fact is, no, you don't. Would he? Would Cavendish have had to do that then, or is it different back then? Cavendish didn't have to do anything. He's making a measurement of the gravitational constant. He wasn't out to try to prove gravity exists. Goddamn, everybody already knew that. But wouldn't have his observed uh, phenomenon have had something to do with gravity or something? No, you just need the gravitational constant, that's all. All he was trying to do is, is effectively measure the density of the Earth, but but uh, if you really want to look at it in, in depth, what he actually did was determine the, the gravitational constant. Wow. That directly like it, from like his measurements. He got something out of it that he wasn't exactly expecting. Oh, he expected oh, wow. to get the gravitational constant. That's what he got. Expected to get the density of the Earth. Let me let me be very accurate about this. He expected to get the density of the Earth, and that's what he got. When you have that and you know the size of the Earth and you already know what the acceleration of gravity is, and you have the gravitational constant. Say that. Say that again, Blue. What again? I said when you have the density of the Earth and you know the size of the Earth and you know the acceleration of gravity on the Earth, you automatically know the gravitational constant. So you set out to prove the gravitational constant? I don't have to prove it, just to measure it. He said I had to measure it. So who proved it? <laughs> what do you mean, who proved it? Proved what? Well, it's a proof, right? I mean, gravi the gravitational constant is a proof. It's proven. Who proved it? Well, it's not a proof. It's a measurement. So, so he measured it, 
So he set out to measure it. So it's a measurement, and he measured it. He set out to measure the density of the Earth, and he got the density of the Earth. It's simple. Okay. So he set out to prove the the density of the Earth, and he got the density of the Earth. Where's the gravitational constant part come in? At the time Cavendish did his experiment, the Newtonian expression was the force of attraction between two masses is proportional to the product of the masses divided by the square of the distance between their centers. Now, proportional to is another way of saying there is a constant of proportionality involved here somehow. It has to be. It's clear from that expression that it has to be, and it has to be a physical constant because F equals M squared over R squared doesn't work. You got force equal so, so who part the part by, by who, who, meter squared who's the part? Who what? I'm in a bad cell zone. Yeah, it sounds like Okay, take your time. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. So Cavendish set out to prove the density of the Earth, and there was a gravitational distance before Cavendish moved of the Earth moved the gravitational constant. Cavendish didn't set out to prove anything, but to measure the density of the Earth. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. So, so it's a proof, though. He's proving what the density of the Earth is. Measuring, proving, it's the same thing. He's measuring, and he's going to prove to other people that that's the measurement for the density of the Earth. Can we agree on that, or... Or are we going to get involved in some semantic argument about this? Well, that, that's a, a very awkward way of stating it, but if you want to say it that way, go ahead. Okay, so Cavendish set out to prove the density of the Earth and or measure the density of the Earth. If he measured it, he proved it. If I am six foot three inches tall, by a measurement, I have proved... I'm six foot three. Are we good, Blue? No problem. Great. So now he proves the density of the Earth. Before that, there's a gravitational constant that someone else has proven. No, there is proved... not. No, there is not. There isn't. So nobody no. knows the gravitational constant before Cavendish. Cavendish oh. also proved the, the gravitational constant? No, oh, the gravitational constant was not used in, that, in the Newtonian expression of gravity at the time of Cavendish. It um, uh, a thing until 75 or 80 years after Cavendish did his work. So 75 or 80 years after Cavendish did his work, somebody else proved the gravitational constant. Who proved that? Oh, oh, 75 or 80 years later, a guy named C.V. Boys created the Cavendish experiment in order to try to get a, what he thought would be a better value for it. Boys is generally credited as the guy who finally included the constant of proportionality we call Big G to Newton's equation, making it an equality and not a proportionality. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so density is mass um, and volume. 
Yeah. Right, so he didn't do any measurements. So I'm guessing they already knew the uh, volume. Was it? Was he weighing it then? What do you mean he didn't do any measurements? That's all he did was measurements. What of the the shape? Like he didn't oh, he, he didn't measure R, did he? No, he didn't have to. It already it was already known. Oh, okay, then so that's the volume sorted then, right? That's already yeah, known. He, he, that's not what Cavendish was doing. He states the. Uh, he was no, of was he not. weighing? He clearly states the diameter of the Earth in the in in his paper from. Okay, so he was he was weighing it then. Is that what you're doing? You're weighing. And it's almost the same number we use today. Yeah. You're getting the weight. You're. No, there's an easier there, there there's uh there's some easier math not not as uh not as funky as the way uh Cavendish went about it. Yeah, but that that's what density come, is, is right? Come to the gravitational constant directly. Mass divided by volume and, and he must have already known the volume, like you say. Uh -huh. Or did he do the vo did he do the volume as well? It G. Huh? He, he was you said cavendish right the original cavendish yeah. is to measure the density of the earth yeah that's what which he is did. mass divided by volume it's quite simple it's mass. yeah mass yeah. per unit volume it is very simple so what was cavendish doing then was he was he doing the volume or was he doing the mass part of it he was doing the relative density, the, the specific gravity of Earth. He was getting the density of Earth compared to the density of water. Yeah, but the like the density of water is one because everything's relative to that. Yeah, and and since we know density is mass divided by volume, is it some sort of a weighing thing? So like, this is why I was like at the beginning, like what was um what was he doing? Like his observed naturally observed phenomena <laughs> was to end him up with the density, but the density is the mass divided by volume. And he didn't do the volume. He did. <clears throat> he did do the volume. Why well, he did, uh Related the the, the, gravi the gravitational attraction of a one foot diameter lead sphere, a seven hundred eighty gram small mass, to the effectively to the to the attraction force of attraction of the of of the Earth to that small mass. That's really what you're doing. He was doing and the density it, it, there, and, wasn't and, it? And, and, he, and you're basically scaling it up from from a one foot diameter th thing to a forty one million foot thing. Yeah, you, what you're confusing is what you you do. Um, that wasn't what he was doing. That was only done seventy five years after he died, isn't it? What do you mean? What I'm? What do you mean? I'm confusing the, the G what... thing. He was doing the density. Yeah. Look, I can go right through the same calculations that Cavendish did and just stated his density if I want to. Yeah, but density is mass Problem. divided by volume. Yeah, I can do the same thing. With the, the calculations that you got or the measurements that you get Yeah. from your, uh, your Cavendish seismograph. Yeah, I got exactly... Exactly the same type of measurement that he got. Okay, it doesn't seem like a weight sort of thing, though. Mass, I suppose. I suppose you call it that. It doesn't seem like a what? Like a weight mass. I don't know. What, what do you call it? Mass. Is that what it does? Yeah, it's mass, not weight. Care about weight, care about mass. So you you measure the mass 
of the earth and you can then divide that by the volume yeah. which, which is a already um, known uh, set of I, numbers that have been given to you already already established mm -hmm. well given to you I wouldn't say established you can't actually measure a radius can you <laughs> yeah you can you can't well I agree you can't but yes you can measure it But I don't even need to do that. There's another way of uh, there's another way of doing doing the math and doing the calculations, which is you can imagine it, perfectly. right? Oh, it's not imagining anything. It's using and that is another way to do it, though. I was just saying using fun using just fundamental engineering math that we use for everything. We know what torsion constants are. We know exactly what moment of inertia is. Those are the things you need. Not a problem. So are you happy with what you've done with your Cavendish then? Very happy with it, yeah. It looks nice. Are you are you Hello. are you running it again? Uh I'm done. You done? I was able to come within about half percent of uh, the accepted value of G, so I think that that's fairly, uh, fairly that's really good for uh, something being done out here in the garage. Did somebody say you go, you're sending it to a university or something, museum. I think I've heard of all sorts of tales. Yeah, we'll find a place for it. to be proud to have it blue huh. what are you doing next I imagine you've got <clears throat> I don't know try something else I don't mean to interrupt, but Blue, remember when you asked me for proof? I posted uh, something up, the passive. Remember you asked me, we're talking about the mirrors. And I told you that's what they're called. Remember I told you there was two two types of systems, active and passive? I think I told you that, but yeah, go ahead. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, Blue. There's proof for you right in your chat, my friend. I see it. What does it say? Read it. Isolation systems are the last line of defense against unwanted vibrations. What you want me to read? Continue. First line of defense against vibrations is LIGO, LIGO's active damping system. Isn't that exactly what I told you? That doesn't say a fucking thing, SE. <laughs> God, give me a break. <laughs> Sounds like you posted a screenshot. Yeah. The thing says, that proved you're wrong about the quad part being the active part. Yeah. I never said the quad part was the active part. Oh, I think. And again, I just posted you something and you still don't get it, man. <coughs> it's truly yeah, unbelievable. It yes, sounds you have exactly not right you thought the four motors were. You have posted something that just proves you don't know what you're doing. You thought the four motors were on the mirrors. It's incredible. You're still insisting on that. It's 
Unbelievable. Show me where this, where, where does it say that? Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Show, uh, no, no, no. Show me something that says where the motors are and what they do. I'm going to leave that up to you. I've already done I just that posted a long you time long ago. I told you before, active long and passive. Time ago. So and there it something. is, my friend. In front of your me. eyes, just the way I said it. Squirm for let me. me. Let me post something for you then. So you're insisting that there's actual motors in the in the uh, quad pendular assembly. You're still saying I, that? I explained to you what the motors are, SE. Yeah, you're saying there's motors. Okay, fine. Got it. No, you're saying there's four not, motors there, right? Not motors, the four motors that not, I asked you. SE, SE, just stop, okay? You're going to get hurt. I'm going to get hurt. Oh, yeah. Isn't that what you said before? You said the four motors that I was asking you on the active system, you said were in the mirrors, correct, Blue? Hold on a second. No, I didn't say they were in the middle. I didn't. They, <laughs> no, in the mirrors. You said they were in the mirrors, clearly. Okay, okay let's read it right now. Okay, just for yeah, you here better on, read it right now. You better. Upper two for your education. Control. No, this is going to I'll tell you, you what they are. Well. It's a coil system that attracts permanent exactly. magnets. That's Thank what it you. is. That's I what know I what it is. Now, you read that's it and I you find you. out what it is. That's what I told you, S.E. You only know that because I told it to you. No, no, no. Now, you tell me what, where are the four motors which you previous, previously thought were on the passive system, Blue. You still don't know, right? This is not, there are no motors on the passive system, Montreal. Uh, sorry, uh, did I say passive? I meant active. My apologies. The active system. Where are the four motors on the active system, Blue? I've asked you that question about 15 times. You haven't answered yet. SE, I've given you lo the location of those little mo things they call motors. Are you talking about the stuff up there on those chains? Nope. See, you still don't know, man. And just say, oh, I don't know, and I'll let it go. I won't yeah, bother you I anymore. Just say, right. I don't apparently. know. Okay, okay. apparently I don't know. All right. Oh, why don't you tell me, S.E.? Yes, sir, I will tell me. you. Yes, I Stop will tell you. Stop talking over me and tell me where they are then. Yes, sir. It will be my pleasure to tell you. Mm. Now Is now a good time to ask for that citation of the dirt? That'd be a great time. So okay, blue, see? the four motors, as I explained to you before we started this conversation, had you be listening, you would have heard me. The four motors are placed on the base that houses the whole system where the pendular sit. It is designed to, it's the first line of defense. It is designed to dampen the shaking of the earth. There's four the motors, motors on are, either there edge. Are motors that are connected to the, there are motors that are connected to a, a, ser a series of seismometers, actually. Oh, you so, now you, so now you know about you it. Watch a video. Yeah, you can watch a video about it. SCL oh, my God. Are you? Uh, is everybody <laughs> listening to this? Sophistry. It's okay, Blue. Hold the motors, uh, hold the masses steady and in place. Push on them extremely carefully. This is the role of the reaction chain. The upper two masses are controlled by simple motors made of permanent magnets, electric coils that push on the masses. You got that? Blue, are you these still talking coils, about the, the pendular these system? Voice, these voice coils work like audio loudspeakers. Remember me telling you that? Blue, we're not talking so about that. Producing a magnetic field attracts or repels <laughs> the magnets, which in turn gently move the masses and interact vibrations. Blue, we're not talking about that, Blue. Are, are you serious now? Are, are you not tracking me? No, I'm not tracking We're talking you. about the active system, Blue, and I was about to explain to you where the four the motors are. System. And you interrupted me again. 
This is the active system, you see. Are you saying the active system with the four motors is on the quad pendular system of the mirrors? These motors are there, yes. The four motors. That's not four. That No, and two of the motors are electric. Well, the ones are electrostatic. The test masses themselves use electrostatic forces. Yeah, electrostatic forces. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about, Blue. I'm talking about the first line of defense, the active system. The active system that dampens from earth vibration. Because as you know, the mirror is like a giant seismometer. You are aware of that, right, Blue? Really? So, you still don't know what the active system is. I tried a, a few times to explain to you. I, I'm just going to give up, man. And when you find out, you're going to be embarrassed, bro. Telling you. Did you find the citation on the dirt thing? I couldn't find it. Oh, I'm not slope, looking for it right now. Sloping arm. You know they had to build it um, above the 500 year floodplain. Like, does, did they account for the slope, the four foot slope, I think. It was in a, a lengthy write-up, Rocky. It talked about the uh, whole project and the alignment and everything. And i got to go find that. I don't know where I put it. I don't know if I even saved it. I think I did, but I'll find it. Put it in your video, bloke. What? The, uh, talking about them. Minimizing the site work? No, I don't remember putting that in the video. You could put like a donkey clip in it as well, couldn't you, at the same time? I might be cool. I like his videos. Oven mitts, television screens. Uh, it's pretty funny. I got a hand, even when he makes fun of me, I, I don't mind. It's, it's kind of funny. It doesn't half sound like one of uh, QE's videos as well. Similar style. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Personally, I think Blue would have made a good stand-up comedian. I'm not saying that in jest. Well, maybe a little bit, but not not meanly. I think, do you reckon he could give Ranty a run for his money, or would he? Uh, Ranty's useless. He couldn't. He couldn't entertain uh, two-year-olds. Make them Ranty's laugh. He's the new Globe comedian. Come on. No chance. I no. If I was to pick one, I would say blue. Definitely. He throws the one-liners like right the hand, you know? Boom, boom. <clears throat> but you've got Billy in the chat. He's the good one there. Um, take two points on. It's connected by a line, straight line. Call it LIGO. And then do the other line. Yeah, and three points, you could put one at the apex and one at each end of the two lines of LIGO. And then you could call that a triangle and it would have 180 degrees. So, well done, Billy. You're a genius. I like it. Keep it on topic with LIGO as well.
even if it's a fascinating place that LIGO is like huh. it, regardless whether you believe what it does or not the technology behind it is like <laughs> out of this world it's good for a reference for straight lines isn't it perpendicular oh, the straightest in the universe yeah yeah, yeah Bill. good example of euclidean geometry And the funny thing is, who was it that brought it out? Was it fight the, the, the flat earth that brought it out as proof of curvature? I believe you were the first to bring it out, Bev. I, the first time I heard it was from you, this thing. Yeah, yeah, because fight the flat earth said there was a running stream at the side of it. If I yep. can remember rightly. Yeah, we always get loads of help with these little ideas. So, Blue, your Cavendish thing, you're going to give it to a university, you said? And if so, Blue's going to go down in history. You guys know that, right? He's going to be known as one of the modern recreators of the Cavendish experiment. We're going to be linked to a famous guy. Seismograph as well. Bonus plus. Cavendish plus. Well, yeah, that's, that's the joking part, yeah. We couldn't resist that one. Is uh, QE still upset with me, or is he not sad? Haven't heard anything. I bet he won't be able to come out after that humiliating uh, roast <coughs> yesterday. Are you kidding me? You call that oh, a roast? He would have been burned. Seriously. Score. It's like a, like a Chinese burn, sort of, like a weak Chinese burn. I don't think it could be funny if he tried to uh, pope. After he'd lost the sense of humour, you guys haven't lost your sense of humour, have you, Blue? Or is it, it, do you just have a different sense of humour now? I don't know. I know comedy's all gone. Fucking mental. I, I used to like Monty Python, I still do. Silly humour. Blue has a sense of humour. The, the face slapping that he does with the, the audience there. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny, you got to admit. Airplane. I'd say actually I'd say Blue has the funniest video even though he made fun of me I'll still give him kudos I can take it I like the conversation it's been good again it's always good when we come round here Blue so we can chat together Got Paige wanting to come over. Paid? Paige. Oh, Paige, yeah, Paige, sure.
So are you guys done telling us how dumb we are and how much we don't know about LIGO? You're the one that started it, not us. Have you got a bot in here, Blue? For watching videos and stuff, like a music bot. What? Well, soft, Beth. Do you have a um, like rhythm bot in here? Who are you, Liam? Sorry. Right again. Have you got like a bot, a rhythm bot for playing music on the server? I think you have to input them in here. No, I don't. No. Well. Might be a good idea. The fact that you know anything about LIGO and still deny the fact that it proves that the Earth is a rotating sphere in space, that's, mm, that's not just irony, it's highly suspect. How do you link the two? How can you, un how can you understand some, so know so much about something and don't understand what it, the whole point is? Mm, I'm not buying it, buddy. No, but I'm looking for a link, a cause and effect here. I don't see one. You know why? Because there isn't one. Yet LIGO wouldn't work on a flat earth and you know it. What? You're kidding me, right, OLM? You're kidding me, right? We'll oh, are you are you are you saying we'll it it would? Are you saying it would? No, what are you saying? No, I'm asking you a question. Are you saying it would work on a flat earth? Yes or no? It'll work on any shape. All I don't do expect you to answer that. I don't expect you to answer that. You're gonna dance, dance. Here. Yes. Here's my answer. Yes. It would work on a flat earth, yes, OLM. Is that clear enough for you? Thank you. My work is done here. <laughs> I just for I just forced you to say something really dumb. No, it would not. <laughs> Please and explain. you do know it. No, explain how it would. How how it would? Why wouldn't it? You made a claim, right? Why wouldn't it? Yeah, you just made a Do claim, a too. Back it up. Back it up. It proves that the Earth oh, you is started sphere. talking. And you have even a flat LIGO surface. Says that. LIGO you says a... that. So, uh, you could prove LIGO wrong. LIGO says that? What the, when, did, when did LIGO ever speak? What does LIGO say? You, you're, pretty, you're pretty slow, aren't you? Okay, let me explain it to you. The people that work there, the website, you know. Yeah, you're going to play dumb. Go ahead. What? Go ahead. Enlighten us. How does LIGO Enlight prove what Enlighten us. How does it work on a flat Earth? Go. Are you serious, dude? You came up with an assertion that you said it doesn't work on a flat Earth. Or any shape for that matter. Why? Why not? You tell me why not. Why would it work on a curved surface and not on a flat surface? Please go ahead. Enlighten us. Go. I already did. What is it measuring? I'll, let's do it again. What is what is it measuring? What is it measuring? Yes. What do you mean? Yes. What they claim it's measuring? Oh, they're liars now. What, one minute they're lying, next to they're not. See, you're, dude, you're, you're out of your league, dude. You're you're, you're out of you're your out league, of, dude. You're not even I a good liar. I suggest you stay at your party, wherever you are. Have a beer. You're out of your league here. Yeah, I'm 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 at a bar in Seville, Spain. And like laughing. Party it out, dude. You're out of your league.
That was being awfully nice, Essie. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to be nice because, you know, I lost my cool before. And, uh, you know, it's Blue's server. And I kind of like Blue. I don't know why, but. Doesn't it just, like, when they recombine the light from the laser after a bit, it <clears throat> measures a a difference in the pattern of the light I mean isn't that what it does the official explanation is when the gravity wave passes through the laser beam no no that's the explanation I mean like what LIGO does is it fires a laser splits the beam bounces that backwards and forwards 250 times or whatever then recombines that light and they tell an adjustment within the light and exactly they, yeah yeah that's it i mean like they can say whatever they want is the cause of whatever but that's what it does and that's that absolutely yeah and you don't want to go into the software part and how they eliminate shit and this and that that's way way too crazy to even contemplate I'm sure these guys have no idea about that either but you can't really say that that combining of the light splitting and combining back again proves the shape of anything i mean that's a bit well that's what i was trying to explain to our buddy over here oh lamb in the bar in seville but no caprande Off another tequila or something. Yeah, LIGO is the perfect, most straight, the straightest line in the world, yeah? And that's and it's in a laser and a tube. But it's built into concrete, and that concrete does go with the curve of the earth. It is curved below the tube. We so you missed the Mobis and Rakia part. You haven't, you haven't figured that part out, or you're just denying it. So you and missed the Mobis. It's detecting, and you didn't answer my question, what is it detecting? So I'll answer it for you. It's detecting gravity waves. And gravity also doesn't work on a flat earth. You, but, and you probably already knew that, too, though, didn't you? <laughs> oh, this guy's special. Right, yeah. You're special if you think gravity works on a flat earth. Because... In fact, you know, you have to say that it's, it doesn't exist, right? Because gravity is not even a force. So I'm, no matter what argument you make, yeah, I'm 10 steps ahead of you. And you just, you know, throw the chessboard on the, on the ground and prance around. You must be drinking some really good stuff, hey? Yeah, non-alcoholic, buddy. So you can shove that yes. where it don't shine. So somehow you think that LIGO proves the shape of the Earth. Okay. Oh, yeah, and gravity. Don't forget. Come on now. Try to, try to keep up. And, and gravity. So it's multi-purpose. Shape of the oh, Earth, no, it doesn't. gravity. It doesn't. It does nothing to do with gravity now. I, you just admitted it waves. like three times. Whoa, and now man. you're going to walk it back. What walk it back. What, <laughs> what else can be a troll? You are a monstrous ogre troll. Oh, this is good. How about earthquakes? <laughs> you think it detects earthquakes? Could do. Yep. You said yes? Well, what is what, what does it even matter if I know the answer or not, right? That's just, you're just no, but you line. said yes, I anyway, heard you. Aren't you? You're tape, aren't you're you? tape, bro. What if, I, what if I know, what if I don't? Yeah? Wow. So what if uh, I school walk you on back, Walk it yeah? back. Come on, walk it back line. now. Yeah. Maybe you should have an alcoholic beverage. I think, I'm thinking about it. I haven't drunk in three <laughs> years. And... Yeah. <laughs> 
dealing with sea lioning, right? Because you're that's not uh, even if I know the qu the answer, and I think I do. Uh, you, what did, does it matter, you, right? it. you did because you answered it. You did because you answered it. The base is curved, right? It, it does put shape the the curve of the earth because it's long enough to do that uh, a, a little bit, yeah. And you can measure it, but that's not the point of it. The real point of it is gravity, and that's the gigantic elephant in the room, isn't it? You said, my friend, that LIGO can detect that it quick. measures gra Bev's admitted it measures gravity. <laughs> so now you, the burden is on wow. you to show how gravity works on a flat Earth. Don't go speaking wrong. for Bev. Hey, what did it say? What, what? E either, one of, either one of you, how does gravity work on a flat Earth? Go for it. What did, what, what did I say proved what? Say that again. No? Make your claim again. No? Oh. Cause you never bag your claims. <clears throat> He's right. No bluff, baby. Hey, is that Paige? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Hey, what's Hello up, Paige? Uh, not much. On How is everyone? Bring in the party. Blue server is swinging tonight, Paige. What's swinging? Blue server, it's like active. It um, seems a bit better in here than it was over at Brandon's. Those guys were getting a bit silly. Yeah. This is Blues is going to be the new place. A civil conversation. Ah, for civility. Is this yeah. where to come now? For civility. Right. As long as you keep paid Nasa Shill on a leash, you'll be good. Does Blue does well. He shot him down a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, kudos. Kudos, Blue. Did you guys hear uh, the roast of QE yesterday by the All-Star uh, cast on Jose's? No. Oh. Yeah, don't bother. I don't think I heard anybody laughing. Well, they might have done, I don't know. It wasn't funny at all. On my cough. No, he can't say that. I mean, Blue, you were over there, weren't you, Blue? I think OLM might have been over there as well. Oh, Mr. 42, good to see you. Hey, I see. Mr. 42's in here. Hey, Mr. 42. Good evening. Good evening. Who, who is it that's going to have banned SE from STST's thing? They wouldn't tell us. Is it Bill? It's oh, probably no. him. Somebody didn't ban you, did they, SE? I can't yeah. believe that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From the YouTube chat, I chat and uh, it doesn't, it's ghosted. You wanted to... He'd have um... to be one of the easiest people to get along with. That's classic. Yeah, he well, wanted to go you, in Paige. and have a chat with him. And they uh, banned him. I can't remember. What was that over that, I see? It's so long, I can't remember, yeah. Bev. Uh, honestly, I can't remember. It's bad, because we went over there after the Jose thing. And Ranty went in there.
Yeah, yeah, it was something about, yeah, I can't. It's going to come to me. So, Mr. 42, you're a mod there. You must have some info. Why they, like, did I insult anybody? Did I, uh, or, what's going on? I don't know what happened, and I wasn't around uh, this evening anyway. Yes, I you were. Yeah, I, yeah. I believe you were there that evening, yes. When was this? Oh, this was m a couple of months ago, Bev. Oh, yeah. months ago. Yeah. I thought you meant this week, sorry. No, no, no. We were talking to them yesterday to, you know, hopefully sort it out that SE could comment in the uh, chat and all that, but seems like you don't want it. I mean, it is only SE. I mean, it's not as if it's, I don't know. He's not, uh, I don't know, who else don't you like? Right, the hand. Was it a straight line? Did I want to talk to them about a straight line or five-sided square, or was it something like that? I, I could have been the five-sided square. Or was it? It can't have been that long. That wasn't that long ago. No, that was, was after, no. Yeah. No, that was after, no. Or something else. I think it had something to do with Ranty. Because he did call me a troll then. That's when I said, okay, gloves off, Ranty. But I can't remember what it was. Who's talk whose channel are we actually talking about? ST. ST ST. Okay. Because I can't even remember anything of this, sorry. Yeah, I assure you, if I was rude or then if I said anything bad, you would have remembered. But, you know, I, for the life of me, I didn't say anything uh, insulting or anything like that. Not that I really care. I mean, who is STST? You know what I mean? But, yeah, just, it's weird. I made a, I made a song for him. Oh, you guys got to hear this. <laughs> this is it, baby. Yeah, my pretty baby. We can go far. Walking down the street with you, yeah. My pretty baby. Oh, I know Bill. Bill is okay. He seems to be a good guy. I don't think he would ban me. Uh, Ramp, doesn't have me banned on his channel. So, you, Mr. 42, you were getting pretty smart, smart alecky with me in the chat, I remember. Yeah, I thought uh, it was. It might have been Mr. 42 that did it, actually. That's what I think, yeah. That would be weird. I did, like you say, I do, uh, you're not even banned on my channel as well. Like, the same for Renty. You're not the type of guy to get triggered, are you? Well, sometimes I can be triggered. Let's be honest. Yeah. I'm not going to lie about it. Yeah, we could all get triggered. I got a little triggered before when they were calling me a liar, I must admit. But I don't, I don't like a, it. I don't know how it works. Can you, if you ban somebody, do you have the power to unban or is that only the channel? Uh, only immediately, not afterwards, because I have no uh, way to reach that option. Yeah. It would there be any way that you could have a word with STST to see whether he could have a look and see whether SE is. For Beth, uh, for yourself, and for SE, you mean? No, I'm all right. I'm I, I'm okay. It is not about me. It's just SE. Okay. Uh, let's be clear personally i don't care let's be clear personally i don't care and i'm not asking for him to unban me i'm just i want to know why he banned me makes no difference to me stsc if i go on the show or not
I'm just curious why. Why would he, you know, it's the first time I've ever been shadow banned on a YouTube channel. I mean, even with Jose, we had it out, and I'm still a mod on his channel. So, I don't understand this. Yeah, Jose's banned me. And Unicorn. Quite a few of us, actually. Well, he banned me on his Discord, because I posted some pictures he didn't like. But on his YouTube, I'm still a mod. No, he banned You're... us, because we did the Chihuahua thing. Yeah, yeah, he banned us from the Discord because we did the Chihuahua thing, yeah. No, it was that was the YouTube. Publicly got called racists. Oh, you guys, yeah, 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 yeah. But me, for some reason, he hasn't banned me on the YouTube. I don't know why. <laughs> but definitely I'm banned on the Discord. And all for posting, a, I think it was a dancing chihuahua. <laughs> Somehow he interpreted that as racist. A man that has four chihuahuas, by the way. Yeah, they were talking about uh, films, weren't they? And I, I said reservoir chihuahuas. I got banned for that. Unicorn. Sugar cookie. Sort of wor worry about people. Like, did you see Sean Hawkins the other day? I mean, he was crying. Well, let's see. A bit of dirt in his eye. And then he's got Jose doing crayon drawings, banning people for mentioning that he's got dogs. I mean, I certainly didn't mean anything racist by it. That's for sure. I've asked people and nobody even knows it's racist. It's racist. They don't even know. Actually, when I think of Chihuahua, don't forget I'm from Canada, right? I think of that little Taco Bell dog. Remember that little Taco Bell dog? I don't even know what Taco Bell is. I've only ever heard of it in, oh, yeah. in American <laughs> films and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a taco place. All the Americans know yeah. what I'm talking about. It's kicking, isn't it? Look at the chance going. Oh, excuse me, hello? It's yo. You guys hear me? You guys yeah. are all still here? Holy fuck. Anyways, I finished all my break jobs. I got an hour to spare. Okay. Hey, happy birthday, Rob. Yeah, thanks, Jesse. I got an hour. I get to go home on time. I got to go take my kids to the video arcade tonight, I think. Nice. To spend your birthday taking your kids out. Taking them to the video arcade. Yeah, is that because you want to have a go at the video arcade for your birthday? I'm sure my kids will enjoy that. it. <laughs> 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 Who doesn't need the excuse? Yeah, you're never old enough. Too old, I mean, yeah. I can imagine what kind of race car simulations they have now. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I haven't been. Man, this one's brand, brand new. Going... Sorry? Yeah, this one's brand new. It's, it's Apparently, they got video games. They got bowling. They got roller skating. They, they got... Uh, they have something else, too. It's like a, They call it the Central City Fun Park. So there's a lot of fun stuff to do there. We'll see. But I see it's pretty busy over here, and you guys are all civilized right now. Nothing going on? Just hanging out? Yeah. It's cool. You guys get LIGO all figured out? It's one of the, yeah, I think so. 
And we all with the only bone of contention we've got is that we think it's horizontal, and Blue thinks one of the arms slopes down four foot. Nobody's if you want to call the uh, on pictures or anything, it's been good. If you want to call the elevation data into question, Bill, that's up to you. Well, I've got to go by over the as built drawings. Yeah, I'm just going off logic, play with the, it's on the X Y axis, so you'd presume that that's the horizontal plane. At me, anyway. I presume they can set the plane anywhere they want to set it. As the report says to uh, out of my sight cost. Mm -hmm. That's construction cost. I just, I just have that X and Y as the uh, horizontal plane and the uh, Z axis as the vertical change in height, elevation change. Pretty simple. There's definite uh, elevation change. Not on the arms. Yeah. On the arms. Is that to keep it on the horizontal plane? Does <clears throat> you to talk about a horizontal plane? Uh, yeah, no, two arms form a plane. Enough. Whereas, and that the major bone of contention is that I call that a horizontal plane, but you um, have a model that dictates. There is no such thing as a horizontal plane. Geometrically, on your model. But not in real. You can call it what you like, but you got two, two and a half mile long tubes joined at one end effectively. 90 degree angles to one another. And those two arms find a plane. That plane could be uh, engine, the earth, any place. So specifically, it's somewhere within the uh, the triangle formed by the vertex and the two ends. Ever identify exactly where that is? Yeah, like that. That's the way I have a perfect example of Euclidean three space. You, you guys don't have that. Like I'm, not, I'm just reading your chat. They even, Rakir was saying they even call them the X and Y arms. I mean, surely that's what they, they mean, right? I don't know where that came from, Bill. What the the X and Y arms? Put that on there. Does that come from LIGO? No, I put it on there, because that's okay. what it is, the X and the Y and the Z. I may have got the X and the Y the wrong way around, I don't know. Like Rakia said, I don't know which arm well, it is. Well, you're the one that put them on there. Why'd you put them on there the wrong way around? Just because it's X and Y. And Z, just because it shows that Euclidean three space. And 
Well, I've not seen a drawing from LIGO calling either arm an X or a Y. Call on the west arm and the east arm on all of the uh, as bills. What, west and east? They're, per they're perpendicular, right? One's called the west, one's called the east. You sure about that? West and east? Wouldn't it be like west and north or south? And east no. and north and south? Because they're L-shaped, right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The arms are perpendicular to one another. How is east perpendicular to west? That's weird. Open up, well, open up the as-built uh, files. Oh, no, I, I get it. I get it. It's it sounds weird, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Rob. It does sound weird, that. For him to do that does sound... All engineers do weird things once in a while. That's the way they identify it. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you that on uh, that one. I showed you those uh, brake drum shoes earlier, didn't I? That was engineering at its finest. I was just saying to my coworkers here, like nightmare. Well, would you not have it anyway? That uh, one of them, if you call one of them X and the other one Y, then Z would be perpendicular to X and Y, right? That's that Z would have to be the way that the uh, the mirrors are orientated, and the X and the Y would be the way the lasers go. Right? That would make sense. At Hanford, they call them uh, west and southwest. Uh, Livingston, they simply call them, well, actually, they do call them uh, southwest and southeast. It's actually a west and an east. They say the word south is, is, is uh, indicative of which site you're talking about. And Louisiana is what they call south. So south has a west arm and an east arm. And the uh, north is uh, Hanford. It's got a west and an east. And I'm going to for your uh, information. Here's the link to the uh, LIGO as built. Go check it out for yourself. Well, would you agree that the X, if the X and the Y were uh, straight line laser beams, that all of the mirrors would need to be on the Z axis perpendicular to the lasers in order oh, to I would be not. bouncing backwards and forwards? No, oh, I would not agree with that. Oh. Why is that? I mean, I know, like, Zanuck said that the plumb bobs point inwards. Lasers don't know west from east, from north, from south. They don't care. No, that's why I just said the X and the Y. That's what the lasers would be doing. <clears throat> A laser only cares if it is perpendicular to the center line of the tube. Which would be the X and the, so the Y. The mirror is perpendicular, perpendicular to the center to line other. of the tube. The, per the surface of the mirror, particular to the center line of the tube, the laser's happy. Which would be the z-axis, yeah. If the thing is not, it is not the z-axis. Well, the x and the y are perpendicular to each other, <laughs> right? And then the mirrors have to be perpendicular to those beams, which would be the z. 
example, if you're going to use the use LIGO itself as its own frame of reference, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's why I said it's like the perfect example of Euclidean three space. It's its very own. Is it, that's its very own oh, reference frame. Sorry, right? yeah, yeah. It does say horizontal and vertical but, there, doesn't it? That's what's throwing that can, you off, right? I didn't. It can complete that. That could be. I mean, that that entire uh, coordinate system does not have to line up with uh, gravity vector. It will not. Isn't that though? That is perpendicular, though, isn't it? That vector that you're talking about that is perpendicular to. Only to the, uh, only to the 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 LIGO arms, not to the Earth. Well, no, I mean your gravity vector is perpendicular, right? Not to LIGO. What's, what's it perpendicular to? Point you happen to be measuring it at. Oh, that horizontal point. Yeah. Hmm. And if those um, X and Y were horizontal, then would that not be perpendicular to the horizontal point? Nope. Because it can't be perpendicular to a point. It's got to be perpendicular to a line, right? A relationship of two lines. Straight lines. But horizontal is a straight line, isn't it? As we've been over about a million times, yes, it is. See, that's why you're... I think you're old school, that's a... Maybe a trick question that, because all of these new school globers don't think that horizontal is a line. Blue rumpus called I would, it uh, a bit I would again. I kind of disagree with you. Well, no, I think a horizontal is a line, a straight line. I think a horizontal plane is a, you know, all so, the straight lines on that horizontal plane would be horizontal straight lines. A definition, yeah. A horizontal line is a straight line, and it is perp it is perpendicular to the gravity vector at one point only, and that's the point of tangency. The only point. Yeah, but vertical and horizontal are perpendicular, and all perpendiculars to a plane are parallel. It is true, and only one of them will be parallel to one all of them are though they're not they cannot be see that's why you, you get that... stuck that's why you're old school getting mixed with, with the new school oh nobody's mixed up and we're all saying this. exactly the same thing you're just not listening mm -hmm. well you seem to have a horizontal plane but then when you have perpendiculars to it you can only have it at a point which sounds fucking ridiculous. No, no, you can be perpendicular to the to a horizontal line, to that horizontal line that's tangent to the Earth at one point. Yes, you can have as many perpendiculars to that line as you like. But only the one that's at the point of tangency is parallel with the gravity vector. The rest of them are not. But if it's a horizontal line, all perpendiculars to horizontal are vertical They're parallel to each other well no i just horizontal lines, yeah. um horizontal and vertical are perpendicular to each other right yeah now draw the gravity uh lines in they are not i thought you have parallel a, to any to any of those perpendiculars right? not parallel to any of those perpendiculars except the one that's at the point of tangency the sphere yeah. I don't Pretty know. simple. Well, I don't know. I I don't see it. Well, I see it as simple for me. I, I, it sounds like you're uh, contradicting yourself. The well, moment not at all. you inject your model into it. Not at all. That's how it works on a sphere. It doesn't work any other way. <clears throat> 
And you can reject the sphere and say, okay, it's it's not a sphere after all. It's a flat. It's totally flat. Earth's flat. Not said anything about that. Well, then why is the middle lower than the end? Straight from the sphere to where are we are. Hey, Shell. Um, yeah, well, you just went lower from the, the end sphere to the, flat, to the yeah. Earth, then. You did that really well, Blue. No, hang on, hang on. We're allowed to reject the sphere. That doesn't make the Earth, the land, flat. What he said it did. Play the game with uh, to topography with me, okay? I understand that. I understand that. Topography out of it. Let's just pretend we're talking about sea level, okay? Mean. Mean sea level. Or just level. Sea level. I think that was good enough. Level is horizontal. You can you can call it a curve all you want. I'm going to. Yeah. So you think you there's a difference. You think level is a circle. We think it's a straight line. That's right. But like whereas I just said before, I've got all the geometrical proof of perpendiculars. Yeah, and on that we can agree to disagree. Works. Well, that's the way it's going to go down because we're not changing. I don't know, nobody says you have to. But I think that may be the fundamental problem that we have with LIGO in understanding how it works. And you don't, basically. Don't what? You don't it's, understand how it works. It's pretty simple. It's I mean, I can go by it. Backwards and forwards. You don't know it's backwards and forwards. You don't it's, even know why it's built the way it is. It's a pretty simple concept. I can go buy a completely level piece of wood and place it on my wall, not level. You can buy a level piece of wood. Yeah, a wood that's leveled. What? Equal oh. elevations all the way across the piece of wood. It's called a shelf. And I can place it on the wall, so Rail. it's not level Rail. on the wall. Rail. Please don't. You mean you can Why? buy a, it's I, truth. I can buy some wood? A a shelf that is level, and place it on the wall, not level. You can buy it level. You mean you just mean yes. a piece of wood, right? Like a a board. Shelf that is leveled, which means it's. I equal elevation all the way across the shelf, and you can place it on the wall, not level. It's pretty simple. I don't understand why you don't. I don't, I don't know why you don't understand that. Leo, can I ask you something? Yeah, I guess so. Go ahead. Okay, so I've got an oval mirror, right? And I want to hang it on my wall. Did you buy it level? But. Yeah, like, I, I want to put this oval mirror on my wall, but I, I want it level. Oh, how, your level. How, do you, how do you mount an oval mirror to a wall and make it level? So that, say, the, Rob, the long ways Rob, is level. Rob, he doesn't understand what level is. He says he's buying a piece of wood that's already level. Yeah, ah. this, this is this thing, right? Do you understand my question, Lael? Yeah. The piece okay, of wood how? I'm referring to, I'm not no, playing no, I, I know. You can You can put your shelf yes. off, it's straight, but it's not level. That's fine. I want to know how you would level my oval mirror and mount it on my wall. I would find what's level and place it at the level. What? what Hey, I would use a carpenter's you're level. You're not really answering my question, though, Lil. I have a mirror. Level. It's an oval. Mm -hmm. I want it level so that it doesn't look all 45 degree on my wall. Mm -hmm. I want it long ways on my wall. How are you going to make sure that it's dead level? I get a carpenter's level and level using the carpenter's level. On an oval. How are you going to level the oval? The whole mirror will be level if I set the level and it shows a bubble in the middle and I set the mirror 
to the level. It will be level. Where are you putting the level? Where are you putting the on level the on the mirror? On the wall. Like on the top curved surface? Like where are you putting... <laughs> are you really this stupid? Wow. Oh no, I've done it! I've done that it! Stupid. That's why I'm asking you how you would do it. I because I don't think you understand the concept of a straight line. That's where we're at right now. I just told you what I would do. You, you would level it. Yeah, I, I, I just make sure that it's not, I don't think you're under you're, I just you're, told you what I would do. I just told you, you what you I do that you're not expecting the answer. Okay, just work with me here, Lil. Where would you put the level on the mirror to make sure that the mirror, the mirror is level? I t told you I would put and the how do you level would, the mirror on the wall? Let me finish what I'm saying. Quit interrupting okay. me. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I would put a level on the wall, and then I would level what whatever I am putting on the wall, whether it's an old mirror or whatever it is, to the level, and then the thing would be level. Whatever object it is, it would be level. If you say level enough, you might be able to level it, but I doubt it. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think you even know what level means. I think you need to know the difference between flat and level. If you oh no, I understand the difference between a flat board is flat is my mirror flat on the know, face or on the edges? Oh well, I'm going to finish my I'm going to finish my sentence. If you don't know what the difference is, that means you've never laid tile. Not a fucking I'm idiot, or I'm okay. I'm going to post that right now. Yeah. Yeah, but that's fine. OLM, I just want to ask you. Maybe the same question. How would you level the oval mirror on my wall? Right. He's not level, I would put the level on top of the mirror on the frame on the top part of the frame. That's where I would put it. And the bottom. On, on the on the curved part? Mirror, I would probably just eyeball it because I'm not that anal but, retentive, to be honest. So so y'all y'all don't want to answer the question. Yeah, I'll no don't have a fucking clue. I just what a straight did. line is. I just did. I said I would put the oh, level on top gonna, of the I'm frame. I'm going to call it level. Not you're going to eyeball the oval mirror of level on the wall. Good job, OLM. You're an idiot. It's not how you do it. I, I just I, told, I, you I told you how I would first. do it. I would put the level on top of the frame. Yeah? At the apex. At the, the highest point of the curve of the oval. Huh? Do you, why how do you that know that that's the highest point? Okay, I, I get what you're saying. Idiot means that you're kind of like losing the thread. I'm I'm not losing. I know I've done it. I have done it and gotten a perfectly level and yeah, oval true. mirror you're on a wall. Sticker. So I know how to do it. That's what I'm asking. Brownie sticker is in the mail. Why are we Let talking about here, man? Why are we talking about interior decorating today? You guys don't realize that level is horizontal. It's uh, the same no, thing. They learned not. this from a Martha Stewart school. I, I'm just curious, though. I can place perhaps a, in, perhaps a level shelf. I can place a level shelf on my wall, not level. Do you think it's or I can or place a level? Think level it doesn't. Be, the shelf itself does not become unlevel. How it's placed is not level. Get why that's so hard of a concept, and I basically said the same thing as OLM. What I would do with an oval mirror. If I wanted a level, I would get a level and I would place it in a way that would cause the mirror to be level. Okay, and now it's your turn. Since you did it, how did you do it? All right, I'm going to draw you. I'm going to draw you a quick picture on my whiteboard. Give me two seconds, right? Can I do? Yeah, while you're doing that picture, can I ask you, you guys, what what is it you think level is? In order to put something oh, there, to the gravity vector. Level is perpendicular to the gravity vector. Okay, and that would be a, a plumb the bob. we call down. Yeah, plumb bob, down. And perpendicular to that, vertical is horizontal, right? That's correct. So it level is, is horizontal. Parallel. Larry nice. proved that. What's that? Larry Larry GPS proved that not all plums are level are That's parallel. Correct. Not are all plums sure? are parallel. 
Yeah, really sure. Larry GPS now. Has he been yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he's explained it to you at least once. Well, you guys Larry, looking at my screen? Larry definitely has not. I'll get you on. We can see you, Rob. <laughs> oh, go. No, you guys saw it? Do you want me to show it again? Whoa, sorry. Did I say plum? I meant perpendicles. That's the word you prefer. There you go. Yeah, so anything hanging down by it. I'm not playing more games. Oh. I'm just perpendicular to gravity. Yep. So, oh, um, so if you got a huge ass stick, like 30 miles or even to say like 90 miles and you made it level okay or say, not a stick even say like a piece of wood a huge long piece of wood that it's impossible for me to do right now or to buy i have, have money for it but it's it's 90 90 miles say or 100 miles and so how long like and you and you go to the i think the salt flats i think you're talking about the salt flats today or something <laughs> or somebody was but you take that uh, that that wood to the salt flats and you just lay it down, and you go all along the salt flats with it. Is there gonna be like a, some sort of gap in between the, the the ground and the the wood somewhere, like at the end when you start it, or where would that gap be? Do you yeah, understand what I'm saying? Enough, if it's long enough, yeah. Okay, so you not a level. You're, so you're saying that. That if that happened, it, it would be like how long do you think? How how big yeah, that space would be? Do you think? It's, you, you're basically you a level piece of wood. What LIGO does. So oh, yeah, you're, you're kind of just trying to reinvent the wheel there. If, if you define it so as a level, you're, piece you're, so of you're wood, saying it's not if you've got a piece of wood, a hundred, a hundred miles straight and level. Do you even know what level is horizontally? It the wood? can't be straight and level. Over that distance, so you get some wood straight in and view and level, but it can't be straight. Lael was buying horizontal. level wood. He, he bought it level, level over that distance. God, Ask him, is... did it? Did he buy it? Lael, did you buy your wood with a curve in it? Also, wood bends. Oh, wood bends. Wood bends. Okay. Okay. You take steel. Something that doesn't I was, I was saying a hypothetical. I'm saying I could go to a store that sells. Um, that makes level level shelves, and I can place that level shelf on my wall. But that level would have been straight, level. right? That's the point, Lyle. It's straight. Level means perpendicular to gravity. Yeah, and perpendicular is a straight line. Perpendicular to gravity. Yeah, but perpendicular is perpendicular, a straight line. Perpendicular to gravity. You're not finishing the sentence. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Perpendicular to anything is a straight line. No, it's perpendicular yeah, to yeah, gravity. At that point, it's a straight line. You're correct. Perpendicular is a straight line. However, it's not parallel to the Earth. How, how can you have a line at a point? Horizontal Anyways, and vertical the... are perpendicular to each other, aren't they? That's an yeah, example of two not... perpendiculars. But all horizontals are not parallel, therefore. All, all verticals are not parallel. Claim. Therefore, no, no, all verticals are not parallel. Therefore, all horizontals are not parallel. No, that's not a claim. That's, that can be demonstrated. That's a claim. That can be Show demonstrated. It. Show uh, it. Baritone Narrows Bridge. What? What about it? The tops are two and three quarters inches further apart than the bottoms. They're both plumb. And how do you, how do you expect to, like, show that that's true? We've Just by saying it. it? They've measured it. They've measured it. Who's measured yeah. it? Where? What's By wizardry. What's measurement? That's like oh, a you, want, you, want, you want to do it yourself? They calculated it. Claim. You mean you have to do it yourself then? Is that the deal? They calculated well, I, it. I would like to be able no, they to measured it. Myself. No, I would they like to be able to verify it. your claim. Fine, then get, climb up, get your ass up there. Climb it and do it. Take a. Uh, let me know how it goes. So, I, I thought you said that you had some evidence of sure, your claim. Sure, I have. I have your I have evidence is just saying that somebody else I have citations it? for it. I have citations, citations. for it. Where is your measurement that you prove to yourself that you can say, I have citations for it. You oh, go. you see. Go okay, so so this why don't you I get if you, if you disagree with this, why don't you get your ass up to the Verzano Nose Bridge and measure? Uh, I only need to do what you've done. Fine, I don't then. need to do something Look that you have done to prove your claim. 
The citations are there. That's not how. That's not how proof of claim works. Yes, that's how it works, actually. <laughs> no, it's not. If that's how it works, then uh, I mean, nobody would be in jail. That's how NASA does it. So uh, you have all the piston rings in your car's engine, have you? Your argument. Or did you take somebody's word for it that they were there? This is the bullshit argument of flat earthers. We always have to go back. Did you do it? Did you do it? Well, how do you know that? Did you do that? Well, if I you have to always go to one plus one equals Mount two. Everest, Fuck. Would you just believe me? Yeah. So I could just I could tell you that. Well, hey, you know what? I'm the I'm the king of the territory that you live in. So I need you to pay me taxes. Would you just believe me? Hey, Mobius. Yeah. I've never so been to China or Japan or any other foreign country. Give me, give me a, to agree with me. Fine. Show me. Show me your go. What if I had a group of people with guns and cages that agree with me that that I'm the king of the territory you live in? Would you? Would yeah, you say, oh, I believe argument. you? Oh, fuck hey, Mobius, kind of have you ever seen Kilimanjaro? Have you climbed it yourself? It's, no. It's, you believe it argument. exists? Yes. Now shut the fuck up, will ya? Exists. Your argument's believe retarded because this is a really I've never been in any country. You're all jumping on Mobius, you, you know? Only, you only know the things that you do yourself. The only thing that exists is the things that I can touch and hold myself. If I tell you that something exists, you have a choice of believing me or not. If I cannot show you that that thing exists, you are relying on belief. No, I'm not relying on I'm belief. I'm perfectly happy believing right. that something exists you know, that I have not personally experienced. It's not a belief. Hey, Mario, you're you're a claim. You can actually if measure it yourself. Go and find a whole exists, line of hills, you should chain be of able mountains. To demonstrate Let's say, how get, you get your ass up to the Verizon Narrows Bridge, tell me you want to measure it. I'm not going to do something Take a warm level up to the top of one and measure the angle down to each of the Because I accept the measurement. The one before you, the one after you. Then go and climb each other. We got people that are muted on the people here. Because this is turning into the next one is chain in each direction. Just keep doing that. Full length of the mountain chain. How many people is dog dog muted? Whenever you guys say anything, we don't have to say it. The first one is what happens. Oh, shut up. Every time. Every time. He wants to run. He wants to make claims, not have any evidence to back Yeah, I'll tell you what, Mobius. No, whenever you say something, I'm going to ask you, what did, you, did, you, claims, did you do it yourself? Claims. Did you do it yourself? Did I do what myself? What claim have I made? Mobius, your what argument you about... Claims? Does China exist? Great. Does China exist? What? I've never been I'm outside of the United States. States. Have, have, you, have you seen China? Have you been to China? How do you know China exists? I've never been outside the United States. I can't prove <laughs> that any other... This is how you ruin a server. Take note, people. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, Mojo. Yeah. Hey, if somebody came up to me and they said, I, I come from China... I start ruining the server. I, like, Mobius ruined I ain't never server. been to China. I don't think, I don't think China exists. Because this guy named Paid Master Shield said, if I ain't been there... Then it doesn't no, exist. No, Mobius said that. Mobius no. said that. Don't forget Mobius about the point that, that we were Mobius talking said about. That the only um, thing you can trust is things you do yourself. Horizontal and vertical being perpendicular. Mobius said you can only trust things you do yourself. Mobius said you can only trust things you do yourself. Therefore, China doesn't exist. That's I've been to China. Failing. And it exists. No, well, see, that's it. I haven't been there, so it doesn't exist. Only the part of China that you visited existed, actually. Right. Hi, hi, you been to all of China or just like Beijing? So like I haven't been to my basement, you know, like ever in this house, basically. I've never opened the door yet, new house, and I still can't get the lock open. So do is, is it existing there? Do you, nope, nothing Would there. you think it existed? Okay. So would anybody be able to, to show how uh, horizontal in China is not parallel to horizontal. Well, China doesn't now. exist, so we don't have to worry about it. You've never. So been why there. are you making shit up that wasn't even talked about that you brought up? You no, you. you yeah, it's very right easy to understand. We're on the surface of a ball, so the horizontal in China is not the same as the horizontal somewhere else. No, if you believe where, that. The, where would I be able to demonstrate? Well, you can demonstrate that, that you'd be on the. Ball. Yeah, you can prove it. Yeah, best time to do that is like in is thirteen there... days. Okay, how 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 would you go I'll about proving it? 13 days to the Artasi's measurement. Basically, it's oh, been proven no so many times that, like, You're everyone who doesn't get it oh, is I mentally mean. ill and should probably go to well, a Well, Unicorn, don't blame me for China doesn't exist. That's Mobius's claim. He claims you can only do stuff that, you, that you've been yourself, that you've seen yourself, that you've done yourself. So China doesn't exist. Sorry. Sorry to all the Chinese. You're fake. And to do with what does that have to do with straight lines and... Questions? What we were talking about before? 
Well, that's what, according to Mobius well, that, here, you can only this trust is all they have. you have mustered and you have done yourself. That's all they have. Throw in paid to, you know. No, no, this is my does. claim. Mont, hey, hey, fucktard, this is your claim. This is wow. Mobius's claim. This is your claim. Notice is your the beautiful argument. language he's using. Notice hey, how John, eloquent he speaks. Hey, yeah, who was saying earlier about the swing? We're losing panel when he's supposed to swing in the show. That's shows. all he has. This he's guy is a total a loser. That's all he has. That's the only thing he's got. He's PNS, really, fun. seriously. Like, what? what is my claim? Do you know what my now claim is? Now he's mimicking you. Your claim is that we can only trust things that we do ourselves. No, I'm I'm asking. No, that's not what my claim is. My yeah, claim is. is that if you're going to claim something is true, if you're going to claim something that's true, and your only evidence is that somebody that is that you believe that to be true, that is not substantial. Oh, I see. So you have to do it yourself. So what? what is it? No. What is it? Well, how, how do you know? Do? How, how do you know then it's true? I can Stone choose to believe something that well, you choose isn't to necessarily. It. Gotcha. Yeah, I can choose to believe something. Well, see, that's not Just like you can choose science. to believe something. Is it true so, or show me the or science. not true or not supportable that China is obvious? Does science prove things or does science not prove things? No, oh, shut up. Wait, 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 what are you going to do? Right what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Does science prove things or does it not prove things? We're, we're speaking colloquially right now. If, if you're standing on the floor, you can, you can prove things false. It out it's like you can falsify a flat earth. It's very easy. Yeah, as I say, you can prove things false, like the flat earth is not flat. We're not talking about flat earth. We're talking about horizontals. No, no, we're talking about flat someone. Yeah, we can falsify that. I'm asking science, how you can prove. In, well, show me. Proving things. I mean, what is your fucking proof that a bridge says it, it's different? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. I went up there, from I went up there and I measured myself. A measure, measure, I went there and I measured myself with a big ass tape measure. There, how about that? Didn't fucking lie. So you proved it to it's yourself. 41, it's 41 um, millimeters. I forget. I have to go look at my textbooks again. Right. My, well, I wrote it down. Right, right. Cool. Well, I'm I'm the king of the territory that you live in, and I expect oh. taxation. Yeah. Okay. Come get it. Good arguments. You're getting better. Viv, I posted a proof uh, that the Earth is not flat in chat. Uh, it doesn't make any reference to curved lines or anything unfamiliar. Have you read Rule 5? Uh oh, did he break a rule? I think so. He doesn't. We don't want it like that. As far as I know. Who doesn't want I can't hear that. Yeah. Viper's talking. Mobius. I don't know who that is. Robot, I know again. Bain a shill. Yeah. I was looking for that clip. I've got a clip of uh, paid Nasa shill saying 13 days to Aristosthenes. Somewhere else. I'm sure I've just put it out. WS mean? No way. All right, sorry about that. I think that's about what I missed. Anybody come up with the actual evidence that horizontals aren't parallel? Yeah, there's a flat earth dot WS meme in the uh, chat. I don't know how you can <laughs> argue against that. I, I I don't know why. What's up with the flat earth obsession with these people? Nobody's mentioning flat earth except for the people who cannot demonstrate intersecting horizontals. Yeah, that seems to be it. one of their proofs that they can't, when they can't uh, back their claims. You won't accept you it. Never no, it's your problem, is it? You, actually, you won't accept it. You know, you have to be, you have to act like measure it. It takes, you know, how don't about, do that. How about you give and you don't realize scale accept. of the earth, how big how the earth you actually give me something is. That I don't have a choice of, but to accept it. Well, well, how about well, that? Well, no, you don't because you're too stupid. I'm sorry. So that's your, that's your, that's your evidence. Well, they're delusional. Their stupid. brains won't let them understand. It, well, they've, they've got to deny this because this is one of the. If they accepted Who's this, they have to admit that What am I denying? Not. If they could be reasoned out of it with evidence, denying or logic, they that, earth, that 
Who's that they? The gravity vectors are not all parallel to each other. Who's they? I'll tell you what, if I, you. If I told you that... They I, is you, Bev. You and the other up, retarded flat earthers. I told you that I could blow up 100 balloons in 60 seconds. I believe that. You have enough hot you air. You believe that? Yeah, you have enough hot air. You believe that? Just yeah, you have enough hot air. I think you do that. What? You, based on what? Based on how much hot air you give. Based on your opinion of how much hot air I... Those line opinion it's, stuff. This is a fact. It's, it's, uh, it's a metaphor. I know, I know, it's a metaphor, but I'm being serious. Like, seriously, how would you, how would you believe that? I, I like, still want to know if science proves things, things or not. Saying it? No, science does not prove things. Science disproves things. But you don't believe the science that proves that horizontals intersect. But or but. The well, we have, we have one year we have one year fellow flurfs arguing about the word proves, so we can't use that word for again with the obsession of flurf and flat earth yeah. and all this well, other bullshit. Definitely, you're definitely a flurf. So is Beth. Is so is this other guy. Rule well, five, NASA. I'm, I'm on, on the level. The rules bro. of the server. What's rule What's five? Why don't you I'm read the rules? Flurf. Have a look at the rules. If you've don't never read it, this is not, this is not intended to be a flat earth server. Why don't you talk to Blue and ask him, you know, maybe... Well, maybe how come all you flat earthers are here arguing about flat earth stuff? Maybe, this, maybe, is maybe gems, uh, this is my gem oh, server. I have some respect. Why are you flat earthers here are putting out flat earth bullshit? You can't I have some have respect. Like, this is Blue server, not gems. No, you're not. No, you can't even have a real conversation because you want to go no, to you. flat earth. No, or... because you keep, you keep throwing all this bullshit at me. What bullshit? I'm asking oh, you to back yeah. up your claim. You're, you said that you won't accept proof them. for your claim is a is a claim that you believe. I don't believe. It's published. Okay. okay, it's published. I don't doubt that it's published. I don't doubt that people say all kinds of different stuff and publish it. Um, well, fine. If you don't believe that. The Bible is published. Can I climb the very The Bible yeah, is published. Bible. Don't be a fucking idiot. I can publish something right now. Since it's published, I mean, it's published in like. It's not, it's not classified as fiction, is it? You know, if you don't believe a thing, go go to New York, climb your ass up the Verizon Nails Bridge, take a big ass tape measure and measure it. So, again, why would I need to do something that you haven't done? To I've do done something it. It's forty one. It's forty one millimeters further apart. At the, L listen at the to top the words that are coming out of my mouth. Okay, very carefully. Why would I need to do something? Oh, because it would shatter you your, have, your flat earth fantasy, that's why. Question? Because, because I know your stupid question. Because what's I know your question? stupid question. What's my question? So you'd rather have this moment of silence for Crickets. your lack of knowledge of my question than let me actually ask the question. All right, say your stupid question. I bet it's going to be something like, oh, okay. maybe, maybe, maybe. I'll say my stupid question. <laughs> something that you have wow, not you act like a two-year-old, bro. Is, like is a, it impossible for any like a male version of let somebody ask a question, like a, a full question? Why, why is that impossible? And then, and then not only interrupt it, but now completely avoid answering the question. I mean, these tactics are really immature, but... Hey, I'll take it easy on him. He's getting his ball stolen. Thanks, Dave. Don't talk about my ball. So again, more silence. But every time I try to ask the question, it gets interrupted and then avoided. Here's a question, Mobius. Um, why not go get some mental health treatment, man? Dude, your CD is probably wow. so bad. Right really? Now. That's so really bad. real. That's where you went. Wait. I'm not hearing an answer. Not, ad not address the argument. Go with an ad hom instead. Good job. You're fucking when great. In, when when in doubt. Doubt. That's not an ad hom, actually. That's that's when an in insult. Doubt. There's a difference. I'm not. I'm not just being insulting. I'm, you, I want to know the answer. Know that that attacking the man. No, there's a difference between ad hominem and insult. That was insult. Attacking the character. So, isn't that the definition of an ad hominem? I might be wrong, but your you're, character you're is not avoiding. having a mental illness. That's not your character, man. And no, uh, insulting someone's character is not an ad hominem. Oh, okay. It's when you don't uh, attack the argument. 
so you it, can it's say, a fallacy. So you, you can say it's an argument of the form. Regardless he is of, bad, therefore he is wrong. Right. Regardless of what it is and what it's called and how it's technically defined or anything, I noticed that the the question is still yeah, being avoided. Doesn't answer the question. This is what they do. They'll just like for like 40, 50 minutes on a time. They'll just like at home, and then once you slip up and say something like slightly like ambiguous, that they'll just like attack you for like ten minutes over it, and then they just do it again, like forty minutes of yeah. just like just. Do it. Yeah, we, we call it majoring on the minor. Proof, and you couldn't follow it. So now the question is, why don't you just go to the doctor? That's a good term. Was that you, Rob? Proof. What majoring on the minor? I got it for Nathan Oakley, actually. I, I mean, it seems to be accurate. But it sounds logically. Ad hominem is something like, what do you know about it? You're not even living in an inner city area. When talking okay. about, you know, geography. Yeah. No, or, you don't know what an ad hominem is. is. So, so or, in which way, in which way was North my Atlantic question? Film, a highline circulation. Uh, request. In which way an insult is request? saying something like, for fuck's sake, baby, blithering idiot. I think he's muted and horizontal you. are not the same fucking Possibly thing. Possibly muted Get me too. through your thick fucking head. So in which way was my it's question insulting, a, a request but it's entirely accurate an ad hom and it's lesson. not an ad hom. Can we, can we just get sure that not everybody's muting everybody else? Because I think, I don't know, <laughs> as, as Dog uh, muted. Uh, I, uh, I haven't been muted. I haven't been muted. No, I'm, I'm saying Dog Dog keeps talking over people, especially Mobius. Has he muted Mobius? No, he's just. Uh, I think he might have muted me. He might me not have as heard well. your question. I don't know. Delusional. Can somebody ask? Can somebody ask Dog Dog, uh, anamorphic, if he's muted anyone, especially dog, the dog, people that are talking? Did you mute Mobius, dog, 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 dog? We might have muted you as well, see? Somebody else will have to have a go now. Or, or he just doesn't want to talk to any of us. Uh, well, yeah. Well, obviously he wants to talk, because he just talked over whoever. He just glitches out. He's just glitching. Just let him glitch. Who cares? So anyway, my answer is still absent. Right. I'm really sorry, everybody, but I'm going to go take my kids to the fun park now. It's 5 o'clock. Have a good time. Right. Love you all. Have a good time. Uh, happy, have a have good birthday. Yeah. See you, Rob. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'm still here. Hello, I'm new. Is that Jose? Nice to meet you, new member. Hello, I'm new. Yes, first Where time. Did you come from? First time in, in talking to people on the internet. Thank you. Well, you probably won't get much out of a bunch of internet potatoes, but. The ones you eat? Potatoes? Like potatoes? I like french fries. I like tater tots. Yeah, tater tots are good. I thought you lived in Puerto Rico, Jose. Especially the extra crispy. Florida. Uh, Florida, 16 years. Six, oh, but okay. From Puerto Rico. 30 years From in Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Western Puerto Rico, right, Jose? Uh, south, actually. I mean, Florida. Just... Yeah, yeah, West Florida, by the Tampa Bay yeah. area. Are you trying to make a joke, Blue? Yes, but I'm not going to go back there. It's it's not going to work now. <laughs> Can you play that song? I'm blue. Da ba di ba da da. Or whatever, how it goes. Like when you do your introductions, Blue, to your videos, you can have that song instead of the Gladys dumpster uh, ridiculousness. Well, I, I we can have like the blue man group. Do it. Be a, be a better question is 
am I going to? Of course I can. The question is not if I can, it's if I will. Will you? Probably not. I just need to, I just need to, to get my mind in, in, in a happy place because I got had a notification. I see people interacting in here, a shitload of people in the call. So, so do we have, so something changed. Is Big Blue our big uncle now? Like, like Big Blue, let's go to Blue's house and hang out there. Is that it? I like it. Yeah. I have no idea no. what happened. He's It was a migration of sea lions and and fans. I like thinking thinking of it as is Big Blue. He's got a like a like a big house with with a lot of like entertaining entertainment spots. He got a pool. He got pool tables. He got a tennis, you know, a little ping pong tables and shit like that. And, and a lot of booze. So everybody let's go to Blue server. Yeah, Uncle Blue. Yeah, there you go. I'll go to Blue's house. We'll buy a sober for dinner, Blue. There's something else that probably won't happen. Yeah, and I, uh, but you know what? I am so excited that you guys are leaving your place and coming to hang out with Blue because you know that in my, in my server, you can. Mm -hmm. I mean, you almost all of you are blocked, and I'm not gonna unblock you. So I'm not jealous. I'm not gonna unblock you for it. I'm just here listening. So I appreciate it. Thanks, Blue, for providing a place for them to hang out because they're just like uh, no, almost uh, no. They don't want to go to my place, and uh, I don't blame them. <laughs> well, I I was banned or kicked from your place, and that were Blue banned me. Yeah, from you here, banned me as well. We lifted the ban, so over here because we're not banned anymore yeah you pub me. publicly slandered us jose you not remember that yeah and that, that's why i banned you guys because you keep you know you want to insist on bringing this to the public view instead of trying to deal the, with this personally in in direct messages you want to bring this drama and this this continuation of why jose why 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 that's why i blocked you and i i'm not planning on unblock you if you if you Cold want to continue with this, it's okay. That's Jose, I only asked it in your server. I only asked you why you were such a mean drunk, and then you banned me. And then you admitted that it just because you are a mean drunk. Yeah, no, I, I, pro I, probably, I don't know. I probably made it public once. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this every single day that you guys are there. Why are you you guys insist on talking about this? It's up to you. I mean, it's okay. We can talk in here, which is not my server. Yeah, why do you I'm insist on bringing it. up all the awful things I've done? Why do you insist on talking about all the terrible things I've, I've done to you all? Yeah, this is this is terrible. You shouldn't do this. Uh, I was out asked, where I was you asked, slandered us, I was asked called us racist. <laughs> Called us doxes. So, you projecting? You projecting over the there? The lowest Emma? of the low and the scum of the earth. I think I can remember you. Who was that? Was that Emma? Yeah. Who was the the lay the female voice who is projecting over there, saying that I'm the one that brought this drama discussion? This is the Bev Tarts. Always after, the Bev Tarts. Go after Always. the women. That's it, Jose. That sounds good. Bev Tart, you started it, bro. Started what? You, you wanted, you, I was having a nice chat about Uncle Blue and, and his place. And you want to talk about drama. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? You like, like, a, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't want to insult you more because you don't deserve to be seen in public like this. Uh, you got to get your, your act straight, bro. Beftart is all I'm going to call you. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> I mean, for me at least, it's not nice for you, but for me, it's okay. Lowered the tone when you came in. That's Jose. not dramatic. <laughs> no, he doesn't want any dry. Yeah, I kind of feel like I need a shower now. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, showers are not racist, are they? Mask them for a friend.
I am excited. I am happy for you guys that you found a place to go. And I actually came in because we, I wanted to, to, to talk to Montreal. But Montreal ran. He, he ran when he saw me. I, I popped in the chat and exactly at what? 53 minutes or 50 something minutes after the hour, Esi Montreal disappeared. I saw him in the call. When I clicked to join, he disappeared. I wanted to talk to him, but he, he ran. Oh, oh well, it's on, it's on him. Yeah. Yeah, Rob went to take his kids out on his birthday as well. Did he Did he run? Yeah, he ran away too. Yeah. Oh, they're all running away. I wonder where he went. Personally blame him for this mess. What mess? Rob. He's working the whole time. Not Rob's. If you enjoyed the content, please support On The Level and future projects. Membership subscriptions available now. Or come and get involved at Next Level Discord server. Thank you.